Hey, my name is Ben Salstrom. I need to install a grounding bar in my electrical panel. So there's a couple reasons why you may want to do this. Uh, one reason would be because you have filled up all of your neutral buses up here and or you just want to have a second bar that you can put your ground, uh, your ground wires on. You cannot put neutral wires on it even if your panel is bonded, uh, but you can use it for putting grounds in. Uh, the second reason is probably more common uh, is that you have a sub-panel. Anytime you have a sub-panel, you are not allowed to put neutrals and grounds together on the neutral bus. You have to add a separate uh, grounding bar. So you can see that I've added a second grounding bar in here already because uh, this is technically a sub-panel. I have a main cutoff panel that's a 200 amp cutoff panel out in the yard on the transformer and I made a video about uh, what a cutoff panel is so you can watch that if you're interested um, but basically this is technically a sub panel even though it is a main 200 amp panel so we've got our neutral wire coming in here and then the two line voltage and uh, our ground wire uh, which is coming in here and that feeds back to the main ground in the uh, other panel or the cutoff panel. The power is off and you should always work on your electrical panel when the power is completely off if possible even including these two main lines coming in right there. So uh, what I want to do is I want to add another ground bar towards the bottom of this right down in here because it's a much easier spot to land all of the grounds. So. Uh, if you are ready to add a second ground bar for whatever reason you may do it, be doing it, uh, make sure that you get one that is exactly compatible. It's the same brand as the panel that you have. In my case, it's a Square D QO panel. Not the home. It's this says home line on it as well because it's compatible with either. So I'll show you a close up here of where this uh, ground bar can be mounted. All right. So here's my my grounding bar. I got the longest one that I could. This is like a 21 space or something. I don't know exactly. So there goes my screw. That's what it looks like. And there's a couple of different mounting configurations that it can use. Um, the instructions said you can either have it centered over a couple of nubs. That's what these are called. Have one nub here and here. And then use one screw in the middle. Or use two screws, one on each end. It just depends on where you're going to mount it. So I'll show you here. Here's one of the options, would be to put it just over these holes. Those ones don't line up exactly, but you have to find one that's set, set for it. This one right up here has two nubs, and it can go right there. As you can see, that's where I installed the one on the other side. There's also a spot down on the bottom. So we've got a nub here and a nub here. And then those holes center over that, and this threads on. You want to have a ground bar that's made for your your panel, so that it fits right into its spot, the way the manufacturer intended. This is super secure. I'm lifting up and down, and it doesn't wiggle hardly at all. So get that snug. Now, technically, you do not have to have a wire going from this ground bar to your other ground bar. But, I would suggest it. It's not necessary, but it's a great idea. So I'm going to put a heavy duty wire, like the same as you use for your grounding rod, from here up to my other grounding bar. So that um, I just have an additional uh, assurity, or I'll be assured that there's a good connection from this ground bar to this ground bar. Totally extra, but I think it's a great idea, rather than relying on the casing exclusively to transfer the ground from there to there. Now there's a bonding screw that goes goes in right up here on your neutral bar. If you're doing a sub panel make sure you get rid of that bonding screw that connects your neutral bar to your uh, main panel casing. So we'll go ahead and put this wire in here now between the two ground bars. Future Ben here. I just wanted to clarify something that I didn't mention specifically. Uh, when you are installing your ground bar, you obviously have 
your ground wire coming in from wherever your source is since this is a sub panel uh, so with that ground wire coming in right there that black one uh, normally you wouldn't have that if this was a regular service entrance panel you would have your two hot legs and your neutral and then from there if you were going to add a ground bar you would just run a solid copper wire coming from your neutral bus down to your ground bar okay that would be if you're adding a ground bar just for the sake of landing your ground separately or in a different area of your panel but if it is a sub panel like mine is we have this fourth wire here that feeds from the neutral bus of my first origination of power at the cutoff panel okay that wire comes in and that hooks into our first ground bar so our first ground bar is right here sorry it's kind of hard to see with all the wires in here so that lands right there and then in addition to that if this is a separate building that your panel is going to be in so if you're running power to a shed or power to your house in my case it's the house you need to add another wire for your ground rods so you can see we have a heavy duty copper wire right there going out and that goes out to two ground rods pounded in the ground about 10 feet apart outside of the house so I just want to clarify that if it's a separate building you need to add the ground rods and a ground wire for that and if it's a sub panel you hook the ground coming from your first panel to that ground rod that you install or grounding bar uh, but if you're just adding a ground bar then you just tap off of the neutral bus and bring it down and put it into the ground bar just like we did here so in this case I just piggybacked this ground bar on that ground bar got my wire in position here now there we go. so as you can see there I've made a nice little jumper like I said this is extra but it's just really nice to have that connection between the two get that nice and snug All right, so they cut these ground bar kits come with a sticker that you're supposed to attach next to them, so it gives a specific information for what sizes of wires and such can fit. So there's my jumper going down to the bottom, and that's it. Now you can pull all of your ground wires into there, and hopefully it'll help clean up your panel and/or if you're installing a sub panel, it should take care of what you need. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Talk to you later.